Hey guys, welcome on the Kuros here, and today I want to talk about the Dawn of Rainbow Comp. Now, if a lot of you have seen my live streams or you've seen a lot of my other videos, you know what team compositions are coming out and what characters are coming out that are going to make this Rainbow Comp. But I do want to say that a lot of people have been uh, working towards their mono comps, whether that's Frost, Volt, whatever. This may be an opportunity for you to expand into a different element or to fix your account if you maybe you messed it up or if you got unlucky rolls. So let's go ahead and talk about that. If you guys can hit that like and subscribe, let's get started. All right, before we get started on this, and this is just gonna be me speaking off the cuff and just kind of my own feelings on it. Uh, everything I'm about to say is kind of based on the CN. So numbers will change. Maybe the characters will change. Hopefully they do not change the character you're looking at right now, Fenrir, who makes this whole thing possible. But a lot of other characters coming down the line are going to make this possible as well. Now, uh, on my CN account, I've struggled for a very long time because it's a very hard... In, CN is way different than Global, where content's a lot harder than uh, Global. But Fenrir makes this all possible, and she's absolutely adorable. She's great in every aspect of play. She's great in uh, uh, Void Abyss, Void Rift, uh, Bygones. She's great in Dungeons. She's great for uh, world exploration. And the best part is that she makes it so you can actually build a comp out of your mismatch of weapons. Now, if you can see here on my CN account, um, I haven't been the most lucky on weapons. I kind of pulled whatever I just wanted to pull. This is not the way that you want to do it. But I used to be a fire main on my uh, CN account. But um, with the dawn of Fenrir, it became a lot easier to just build into that and save for Fenrir. And you can flex a whole lot of different weapons. And we'll talk about team comps in just a second. Now, the thing that makes this whole thing possible. And uh, once again, I know this is in uh, Chinese. But if I pull down, if we all tab over the Fenrir, she has this thing called Balance Elements, which increases the attack by 15% when activating uh, when you have three different elements equipped. Now, the best part about this is that you can use Lin Yi and she counts as kind of like every element. So you only need two elements if you have Lin Yi or Lin or whatever you want to call her. And the best part is that she kind of stacks with Lin on top of it. So the best part is that you can pair with Lin. And if you have a really stacked Lin, it's, some of these bonuses do stack, right? Like the, the six star. I know a lot of free to play can't get six star and stuff like that. But a lot of her attack bonuses while being in the Moonlight Realm do stack with that balance comp. And it makes it absolutely amazing. And she's a high shatter. Hopefully they don't change that in global and they make her a charge because they made Tiana shatter. God, please do not do that. Um, but, um, hopefully that, that is what it is. Now, the reason why this is really important is because you may have a mismatch of, uh, weapons. You may have, uh, you may have a couple fire. You may have a couple, uh, uh, physical. You may have a couple frost. You maybe have made your frost team. And by the way, if you did make a frost team, perfect to flex into a rainbow team as well. So, so I kind of just want to talk about those team compositions real quick. All right, before we talk about the team compositions, I do want to talk about Fenrir again real quickly. She is one of the most free-to-play units you could possibly do and one of the best whale units that you could possibly do. If you um, are watching this video right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you really only need her at one star. The one star is what makes her uh, go absolutely nuts, allows her to uh, heal a lot more, allows her to deal a lot more damage, um, just makes her very well all around. Now, that's the best part about her. She's high shatter, high damage, and high healing, which is absolutely cracked. Um, but if you were to pull on her, her three star is really good as well. Uh, grants that HP immunity, which allows her to escape death every 45 seconds. Absolutely cracked. Um, and then I do like her six star, which increases crit rate. Now, the best part about this is that um, it does uh, maintain when switching to other weapons. So it gives you time to switch weapons, hit skills, and come back. The other part is that with crit resistance and crit value going down as we level, that crit rate is actually really important when you stack her together. Now, let's talk about just building a rainbow comp. Now, a lot of the characters coming out in CN are supportive of rainbow. To give you an uh, example of that, the newest character, Icarus, uh, which is the yo-yo, uh, actually supports a, a little bit of rainbow. It has this new perk called Elemental Mastery, which increases final damage by 2.5% for every uh, elemental equipped. Now, Icarus doesn't really work in the rainbow comp. You could use it, especially as a free-to-play, um, and it's doable, but Icarus is really in the mono uh, 
a mono frost comp but it just means that you you can you can put them there so as we're building this comp so let's talk about the most ideal comp here which is Fenrir is your core right now Fenrir is the only one that really makes rainbow uh possible now your other ideal is going to be Lin Yi hopefully you did pull Lin it doesn't matter if she's zero star one star or six star the higher the star the better that all of that's going to work out now the other ideal here is actually Saki now funny enough you don't even really use Saki in the rainbow comp you you'll switch to her every now and then hit the skill to help burst down some shields some more but you're really just bringing her there for that passive and yes her passive does require two frost weapons to be equipped right in order to get that one star effect all weapon skill cooldowns are cleared every five times uh when frost resonance is activated now what's really funny is that Lin Yi does activate frost resonance you just don't get the damage bonus from that but it does count Lin Yi counts as both a volt weapon and a frost weapon so you do get that perk and that's why that makes this team absolutely crack so if you're a frost team you can flex right into rainbow right now absolutely uh, uh easily to do depending if you pull alice and a bunch of others now what i really like about it is if you were looking at my comp my comp i run a rainbow team as well but i actually run uh i run claudia now that's a great sub for saki you could put claudia in there that's a that's a perfect sub there's so many great subs for this uh, rainbow comp and it's actually a lot of physical units you could plug in uh shiro there for some additional uh, weapon charge and some more shield shattering you can put Lyra in there if you want to get some shielding and some additional healing there too not really the most ideal but you can do it you could put Subasa in there um I'm not the biggest Subasa fan but you could pull it off to get some additional attack buffs and switch to it and then come back now another character that you could do is what we just talked about the elemental mastery is Icarus now that's a great team comp on top of that so um and there's a there's a lot of team comps you could do here as well um the other thing you could do is you can you can use her in a pure mono i mean you can use mark too i'm not going to say mark we don't get that we don't get mark and cn now you can use her in a pure mono uh volt situation so if i was to remove all these characters out right we could do something like Lin Yi, tn uh fenrir perfectly uh viable now it, it does suck that they remove the iframes from uh tn in global that affects fenrir to an extent but it should be okay now another thing you could do is you could pull out uh you could pull out Lin Yi and you can sub in Nemesis. You could run triple volt. Absolutely amazing. You know what? You could take uh you could take uh Tien out and you could run a volt uh higher healing cop. You won't do as much damage, but you will still do great damage. There's a lot of characters you guys could plug in here. You could even plug in Lan and Ruby um into your uh rainbow team uh, uh ideally. I mean you could do you could do so much with it and still be effective you don't have to do 100 percent perfect dps you just have to do good damage and good healing and good effective shield shattering and that's what the rainbow comp really really supplies so um that's really what i'm getting at i've been able to progress my account on cn a lot further ever since becoming rainbow it's been uh it's been a joy it's been a blast and i think every free to play should contemplate going rainbow even the matrixes uh that are coming out um are really designed around rainbow right uh Fenrir's is rainbow uh of uh, uh, uh Shilla's is rainbow which might be in the gacha pond hopefully uh Hoda please for global put these in the gacha pond don't do us like crow matrixes no thank you and then you have Icarus which also is uh based on increases all elemental damages when uh uh when dealing frost damage blah 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 there's also this one right here when equipping two different elements you increase all damage types so there's a lot of matrixes coming out that support rainbow comp and i think they're trying to get away from that mono because they want people to pull more characters and have a lot more fun even lands has a little bit of uh for each flame ice physical uh lightning weapon equipped you get increased damage so i was all over the board there but hopefully you guys realize just really the power of fenrir coming out and this is really just the to uh to uh, give you a taste test of what is going to happen and what's coming out so let me know in the comments down below did this help you out are you going to be going for fender i don't know if you will i will see you on the next video take it easy and fist bump from me to you